Look at this. It's starting, you know, they're starting to block up the bush, block up all the tracks. Bastards. We soon there won't be anywhere to ride. And I've said it, you know, I've said it before, I mean, what's the point of locking up this track? Um, it's an access track to the, uh, the National Park. We're actually not in the National Park, I can tell you that. Um, this, this is an access road for, this is also an access road for um, certain railway uh, infrastructure. So why lock it up? Fucking greenies. It's the greenies, so the environmentalists, and the Aboriginal uh, organisations. Now let me clarify that for all you fucking bleeding hearts. I'm not saying the Aboriginals, I'm saying the Aboriginal organisations. The bullshit, corrupt, good for nothing Aboriginal organisations that just leech off the government and taxpayers. They do it for their own, for their own gain. It's fucking bullshit. And in their minds, if they can lock up a, a bit of bush, then they can, once they lock it up, once they take control and lock it up, then they can get funding from the government to maintain it, which they never do a very good job of anyway. It's just a way to get access to large amounts of grant money, environmental grant money. So this is a perfectly good road. It takes you up to a perfectly good lookout. It's a fantastic spot. Great place to take the kids four wheel driving or whatever. And they're gonna fucking lock it up as you saw from the gate back there. Fucking assholes. Big hill, fucking windy. Nice view, but too goddamn cold. I had a look on. Um, there was a post on Facebook from um, uh, Bush Users Group United. I think they're called B U G U. Um, and it was a map of Victoria, and it had all the um, all the state forests, state parks, uh, national parks, and so on. And it, uh, it it highlighted which which sections of those parks were at risk of the um, of the state forests were at risk of being locked up as a park. See what we've got in Victoria, as I'm sure everybody. Well, that's steep as fuck. I'm sure everybody probably knows. State forest is, um, you can pretty much do what you want, you know, you, within reason. You can horse ride in there, you can take your dogs in there, um, you can um, go gold detecting in there. Um, none of which is an issue. Um, uh, rough. Oh. Oh. It's pretty steep actually, that thing. I have taken this down there before, but it's just fucking steep. Whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, so um, so that's the, the uh, state forest. Now, state forest is good because you can ride your dirt bikes in them, nobody's going to give you a hard time. really good but then they turn into a state state park or a regional park and that's where it starts getting locked up now 
add another layer to that is you've got the Aboriginal organisations, you know, the local tribes organ tribe organisations that, um, that make claim on that land. And they say, well, um, you know, this is a heritage area, so you know, you're not allowed to go fishing in our heritage area, or you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to, I don't know, take your dog into our heritage area, whatever it is. And it just locks up the bush. This is a lot rougher than I remember, actually. The focus here. Jesus. That is actually rougher than I remember. It's good. Hard on a fucking big bike. Um, yeah, so this map showed all the areas that were at risk of being um, being locked up by either Aboriginal organisations or uh, the, the state park, national park um, stuff. And it's scary. It actually, they, basically all of our state forests in Victoria, certainly all of them in central Victoria where I am now, are, are going to be locked up. Uh, unless we can do something about it. I'm not sure what to fucking do. I know there's uh, there's organisations out there like BUGU or whatever you call them that are actually um, making a stand. I've signed a couple of petitions. They've actually got a rally in at um, Parliament House in Melbourne on Tuesday. I was, thinking, I, was, I was tempted to go. I don't know. I don't like going to rallies. Um, it's not really... Look, it's not my fucking thing. But... I mean, I've been to, you know, I've been to some of them just looking at them and looking from the, the sidelines, just seeing how it all works. Just seeing the craziness. But um, I'm not really, I'm definitely not the sort of person to be holding up a fucking sign, you know, because it's, nothing is as simple as a placard, uh, of course. But, um, yeah, this is the end of the road for me. I believe, because that down there, that track down there, is steep and gnarly as fuck. And I wouldn't do it. I'm not actually, I'm not even going to walk down there to show you. It's steep as fuck. I've shown it on the videos before. Mark's shown it on his. I don't think I'd do it on any bike, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm ashamed to say it. I'm just not, I'm just not good enough. And probably fucking not young enough, you know. But yeah, it's, um, it's pretty gnarly. Anyway, so look at this, you know, what we're doing right now. I'm not damaging the bush in any way, shape or form. We've got fucking beautiful views. And um, as, as you saw before, you know, they want to lock up these tracks. Now, whether they will or not, I'm not sure. There's always, yeah, there's always a debate. There's always pressure on, on both sides. But I guarantee there is a, a load of people in Parks Victoria, in local governments, uh, in Aboriginal organisations that would love to lock all this shit up and never let anyone anywhere near it. Unless maybe you're a bushwalker and you've, um, you know, I don't know, given thanks to the to Gaia or something and fucking, you know, declare that you're a um, leave no trace, you know, ideologue. Uh, <laughs> You know, because I mean, my wife and I go bushwalking too. We do a lot of bushwalking. I probably do as much, well I do, I do as much bushwalking as I do um, dirt bike or adventure riding. And, um, you know, we see it there as well. I mean, there's just this. And then you've got the bushwalkers don't like the mountain bike riders, and then you've got the mountain bike riders hate the dirt bike riders. You know, so that's all an issue. That, none of that helps. Whereas I don't mind, if we're bushwalking and it happens to be, I don't care if what sort of track it is, right? And it turns out that there's been some dirt bikes on there. I don't really don't give a shit, you know? Um, mountain bikers will actually, um, frequent mountain bike use, um, it, it will, will do, um, will dig trenches just like a, a dirt bike. Well, I go down this gnarly shit, 
probably should. Don't be a pussy. Go down the gnarly shit. Keep that front end loose, you dickhead. Keep momentum and a loose front end. And it should sort itself out. <laughs> In theory. Rocky as fuck. So yeah, I think um, with being this whole uh, bush lockout thing going on, the greens trying to take over the bush. I'm not sure where it's coming from. I, I don't know if this if it's a national, a na I don't know if it's a nationwide issue, or if other countries have similar issues. Um, I mean, this is a. I, mean, I don't want to get into politics, really, but but Victoria has a um, quite a left-leaning government. Uh, I think the Greens, as far as I know, I mean, I don't follow state politics really at all. But as far as I know, uh, the Greens have a big say uh, in Victoria, um, as as they have teamed up to some extent. Uh, officially or unofficially or, or whatever, um, maybe just culturally aligned with Labor, which is one of the major two parties, one of the, one of the two major parties. Uh, anyway, so what we have is we have a, uh, a quite a left-wing government that we have had for a while now. And I think that's, obviously, that's, that's not helping the situation at all. But I'm wondering if other states have the same issue. Uh, I'd be interested, I mean, I... I um, I spent 10 years up in north, far north Queensland. I spent a lot of my early dirt bike riding days in far north Queensland. Um, you know, up in the Cape and, you know, the Kreb track and uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm wondering if they have the same, if the government is having the same, or the Greens are having the same sort of effect on, on those areas. I don't know. But it's getting beyond a joke here in Victoria. Um, it's, you know, it's, get, it's getting quite bad. Um, I mean, you could, you could argue, okay, well, this is a, uh, a pristine, you could say that this is pristine bushland that needs to be protected. Well, look, it is pristine. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. And that's why I want to be here, because I love it out here. But I tell you what, this bushland, every single tree that you can see right now, even the big ones, were once cleared, right? This whole fucking place used to be barren, right? And there's there's evidence everywhere for it. If you want evidence, you know, you just look at those stumps and, and look it up on it. Just Google it. All these stumps are evidence that all these trees have been cleared at some point, right? So, and then we, we said, okay, well, let's make it a state Let's make it a state forest and protect it from logging. You know, you can't come in here and get firewood anymore. Brilliant, for sure. You know, you can't cut it down to farm it. Brilliant, fantastic, right? So that happened, and that's great. But then they've got to take it a step further, don't they? They've got to fuck it up for everyone else. So, well, now you can't, um, you know, particularly where I am right now, you know, you can't have dogs in here, you can't have horses in here, you can't go prospecting in here. You can't light a fire in here, uh, even in winter. Um, and all that sort of stuff. For what? You know? Now, I'm on, I'm on a, a track here, a road, so uh, I have no idea if I'm allowed to be on this track or not. I suspect it's a, it's a fucking track. I could be on it. Um, but, you know... Who knows? I don't know. And the thing is too, that all of these tracks provide access uh, for, you know, if somebody gets lost, uh, if there's a bushfire, uh, which, you know, happens all the fucking time. Um, these tracks allow for the bush to be managed and to be looked after, right? Um, you know, uh, 
fuel reduction burning. Uh, we, you know, that's something that's, that's actually very important here in Australia. Uh, you know, the Aboriginals did it for fucking thousands of years. Um, and what we think that now we don't need to, we just fucking leave the bush alone and everything will be fine and dandy. Well, no, then you get massive, crazy bushfires that end up killing hundreds of people and destroying, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of fucking property. That's what happens then. Uh, where am I going? But, as I could be wrong, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but in a national park, you're not allowed to, even in a, potentially in a state park, you're not allowed to do fuel reduction burning. So I guess, you know, what, you just, you know, if a lightning strike, you know, causes a bushfire, well, so be it. <laughs> you know, look, my wife and I were up on um, Mount Buller. Um, we walked up to, we were just near the summit of Mount Buller. And it had been a sunny day. And um, what got me was the amount of dead wood, right? There was so much fuel up there. Um, like this, but all bigger trees. Um, just dead. I mean, there were obviously a lot of live ones as well, but it was just a shitload of dead trees. So much fuel. Everything was pretty fucking dry, right? Very dry. Anyway, all of a sudden, you know, a, uh, a storm comes through. You know, because you're about, I don't know how high Mount Buller is, 1,700 metres or 1,500 metres, I don't know. Whatever it is. Pretty high. Storm comes through. Lightning strikes everywhere. We're getting lightning. I mean, there these lightning strikes, the thunder is fucking... Well, it's not thunder when, the way we were experiencing it. I mean, it was... Um, it was fucking rattling our teeth. Right? It was, it was pretty fucking scary. And I thought to myself, I fucking hope it rains soon because here we are about a good two hours away from a road surrounded by um, the driest timber I've ever seen and we've got lightning strikes everywhere around us um, <laughs> you know it was soon after that it started pissing down rain so it was okay but my point is you know lightning can happen uh, and that bush can just go up and in minutes it'd be a, a fucking firestorm because the breeze was blowing as well I mean it was, it was windy as fuck yeah anyway of course I in this video I am rambling I get that I'm in a rambling sort of mood um, but like I said <laughs> Well, I'm not really doing it. I mean, I'm kind of doing it for you guys, but I'm kind of really just doing it for uh, for me, my close friends, you know, a record. So, you know, whatever. Deal with it, okay? <laughs> how do I get out of this place? I knew I knew how to get out of there back back there, but the problem is, it's um. It's national, it's the single track. It turns into single track back there, and it is national park. And, you know, yeah. I don't want to push my luck, to put it that way. Okay, so that's the national park. Okay, so if that's the national park, then why is this track closed? Wouldn't it make sense that this track should have been closed? I don't get it. Anyway. Warning, bridge ahead. Mind you, I must say, this, uh, <laughs> this fucking bridge is dodgy. Oh, okay, which way am I going to go? Oh 
go this way. I'm gonna stay away from the single track because that's actually the gold fields track, that actual bush walk. So I'll go this way. Jesus Christ. Well, I think these tracks are fantastic and they're, they're actually maintained. I mean, this. There's, there's people that actually maintain these tracks, and I think it's brilliant. Whew. Yeah. I just think that it's fantastic that that sort of thing exists. For the record, I'm in uh, State Forest right now, I believe. Um, so I'm not sure about the, technically the legalities of single track, but it's State Forest. It's like, it's not a fucking... You know, and talk about people with their connections to the land, you know, that track has probably been there for at least 50 years, right? Honestly, that these all these single tracks have been here for a fucking long time, you know, and I know that the tracks out at Wellsford, I grew up riding those tracks. That was my backyard in Wellsford Forest. And, uh, you know, so for uh, the fucking greenies to say, oh no, we've got to, we've got to uh, make it illegal to do to ride single track. It's like, ah, oh, fuck you, cunts. Seriously, fuck you. It does nothing. There's no damage at all to the bush. For a start, the track's already there. All right. You want to argue that we shouldn't make, shouldn't be making any new tracks? Yeah, fuck okay. Well, I can, I can see your point there. If there's already tracks, why make new ones? But seriously. It's not going to do anything to the environment. What it will do is it will let people, particularly younger people, like kids on their BMXs and and you know older teens on their owls on their dirt bikes, to actually come out here into the bush and learn to appreciate the bush for what it is. And as soon as and as soon as you get kids to develop a love for the bush, then they're going to fucking respect it, aren't they?